Hi everybody, it's Blood and Plunder Week here on BeastsofWar.com and we have three fantastic mega bundles up for grabs. These include the rulebook, two nation packs of your choice, and the cards that you're going to need to get you and a friend into the game. For your chance to win, get your comments in on any of the Blood and Plunder content this week on Beasts of War, Facebook or YouTube. Winners are announced in an upcoming weekender, so stay tuned. Everybody, welcome back. We are here for another look at some blood and plunder. I've got John and Mike with me from Firelock Games, and what we're having a look at today is some of the commanders. Now, uh, commanders can make a big difference to your force, guys, as yep. far as I've seen so far. So, mm -hmm. uh, in our initial demo game, what we saw was that we each had a level one commander, he had that command point to pass out, but there are other levels of commander. So, uh, you guys have both picked sort of a different level of commander that you're wanting to show off. So, uh, John, let's start with you. Which commanders have you picked, and how are they different from that level 1 commander we saw in the demo game? Alright, so right now I just have a level 2 commander, he's 15 points, you can see right there. Uh -huh. Which we and call an experienced commander by the way. Yes. Okay. And he has just an extra rule, before you're, um, the commander had only Ruthless, yes. when he's upgraded he has Inspiring. So right. now anybody within his command range, when he um, uses a command point on someone else or on himself, yep. you can re-roll your uh, fatigue test for anybody around him. Ah, so that's, that's nice. really good. And he has two command points. Ah, now can he send them both to one unit or does he have to split them up? He has to split them up, so it's only one per unit. Ah, okay, so this is to try and stop people really punching over that three limit that you guys have for exactly. how many actions you can have. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you've, you've got a nice little scenario set up for us here. So who do we have and where are they on the tabletop? Well, right now we have the French Buccaneers right here and the Spanish Militia. Okay. And uh, what exactly is going to happen in this little set piece that you've put, up, put together for us? Well, right here, we're in the thick of it, so a lot of people are going to start dying. Ah, <laughs> just the way we like it, nice and bloody. Uh, hopefully there will be some plunder. <laughs> See what I did there? At the end of it, hopefully. Uh, I know, I'm awful, <laughs> I'm awful, I apologize. <laughs> Alright, so uh, how do we, well, actually run us through the, the sequence then that you've set up for us. So who's activating, who's going first, and right. just do the actual motions for us. Show right. it on the tabletop. So you will be activating first. Since, okay. let's say, you're in control of the French commander, and okay. you have a six of hearts. And Lovely. I have a four of diamonds, so you will be going first. Okay. Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, you could do whatever you want. Your commander is right back here. Uh -huh. He has an eight-inch command range. So from what I could see, you could either activate your buccaneers or your filibusters. Uh, let's go with the, the buccaneers, because I know they're a decent shot. Now, he actually has two command points, so I could activate both, couldn't I? Yes. Additionally, you can use a command point on his own unit and give the extra command point to another unit. Ah, all right. Uh, well, let's do it that way. Uh, he will use the command point on his own unit. Uh, they are, what is this unit he's with? What uh, experience are they? Experienced, yeah. trained, veteran? They are trained. They're trained. So they'll get two actions here. And so by using the command point on them, he gets three. Eight, yes. Okay, so what would be my best tactical option here? So if I put it onto these guys, I know they're a decent shot. So I could have them shoot maybe down into here. Yep, get rid of those lanceros, they're, they're dangerous you know, uh, where they're positioned. Yeah, let's, let's do that, we'll actually roll the dice. So I've got four guys there, and if I remember right, what will I be looking for? So the ears are yeah. fives. Right. And you're just under eight inches, so you're good, so plus one. Plus one, so sixes. Yes. Alright, so taking that shot... Oh, hello. Three, pretty good. Yep, that'll be three hits landed. Alright, so I'll be taking three saves. Lancero's save is a six, but all of my guys do have cover. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see, yes. All right. elusive. Yeah, elusive kicks in and they got a bonus, so they're going to save on a five. All right. And one dice. That's not bad. Can I take your resolve test? Resolve test. Again, that's one for being hit, and an additional die per casualty. Yep. So he's got to roll two dice, and their resolve is five. And they take one. one. That's one not too bad. Fair yep. enough. Pretty effective. Any more dice across the tabletop? Yep, yep. <laughs> Spread that out a little bit. All right, and what I think I'll do with the other unit here is I will have them move twice, so that'll give them up to eight. So I'll use that to bring them up to here. Everyone will follow behind, yeah. and everybody will then take a full shot. So there, there, there. Don't forget to leave a little space between units so you don't mix yeah. them up. Ah, there you go. Uh, so if I do that, it should mm -hmm. work well. 
All right, so these guys will now take another shot down at the Lanceros and sure. see if I can actually do some more damage. Sure. So how many guys do I have there, and what are they shooting? You have four, and then your commander is going to be shooting a pistol. Okay. And it's the same deal, so their shoot skill is a six, so uh -huh. you're going to need a seven, uh -huh. and then a nine with your pistol. Okay, let's see what we get. Uh, you got two, two hits. Not too bad. I'll take that. All right. Get now while John's test to see if you, if he takes any casualties... But you, another option you could have done is, say you wanted to fire at the other Lancero unit over there, you could have command pointed those guys mm -hmm. to move out of the way, Yeah. so then you would have a clear shot. But my thinking is, if I'm able to put two shots into that unit, that's doubling the chances to actually get that. Uh, that's that definitely a good on choice. Them. I just wanted to you know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. share some other uh, command point options that are available to you. Mm. Get these out of the way. See, this is the thing. With every game, you sort of have to get into the mindset of what mm -hmm. you're up to with it. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so... This is me just, as I'm learning, trying to figure it out. Of course. <laughs> All right. So Hopefully same not deal. making a fool of myself. So <laughs> no, what are you looking you're for? doing very good. So I'm going to do the same thing. Same save. Six that goes down to a five because of an elusive. Oh. And... Oh, another casualty. Another casualty. Not that elusive, apparently. Mm -hmm. so. But it's two more tests on that uh, fatigue. Yeah. Right. Five or better. And uh, I got a one ten. And, a ten. and a one. So, and yet again, another point. So that's going to be another point. So now I'm at minus one action, so that's good for him. <laughs> yeah. Well, that means you're losing that action, which means you have less chance of actually getting to me. I mean, yes. you would have to play like a club or something to actually get the three activations on them. A to go two, down to two, two to actually reach me mm -hmm. from the point you're at at the minute. Yeah. So right. where would you go from here with your own commander, who is way down here? Let's see. With my commander... I'm going to have to whittle you down as well, so I'm going to command point my Indios right over here to uh -huh. shoot at your Marines. Okay. And what he'll probably do with his other command point is take advantage of the inspiring rule that uh -huh. that commander gives him and try to rally those guys. Uh -huh. And he's got a pretty far 12-inch command distance, so... Lovely. All right, so let's see the distance here. Uh-huh. Right now it is plus one. So, the Indio skill is a six, but they're using bows. Bows are always going to be at a plus one penalty, and there's going to be another plus one penalty for the range. Okay. So, let's see so he here. Dates. And, and I got, got one. It's, it's still one that I have to save. Yep. So, on the Marines, the save for shooting is a seven. Yep. Right. So, they're not really good at ducking. Seven's pretty average. Yeah. Pretty average. They're not great at it, but they're not bad. Uh, if I pop this out. That's a nine. Is. That's a nine. nine. So, you're good. Saved. But I, I have been hit, so I still have to test. Right. Uh, for a 10. And that's good. Yeah, you're fine. 9 and 10s uh, are always good. Really brave today. <laughs> yes, yeah, so now, let's see, I have two actions. So I'm going to move up a little bit. Uh huh. Yeah, it looks like you may have been just outside of 12. So you could actually use your command points after you move the commander to get him to where he needs to. He's running over to guys, yelling at him, giving him orders, telling him what to do. Making see, sure. I like this idea mm -hmm. that you're not locked into where you have to use it. Right. There's a nice freedom to it. So what's the last thing you're doing? Because I think you still have a command point, yeah? Yes, I'm going to command point, and I'm going to try to take away my fatigue on my lanceros. Okay. So same deal, there's, there's a five, and I take one away, so... But he can re-roll the four. Really? Re-roll yeah. the four the because of inspiring. Ah. Yeah, so any ones that fail. So it's like a command... It's like, it's like using a fortune coin, but better, because you only roll the failures, not the yeah. successes. Yeah. So, so because of that, that's... he clears them completely. That's a really nice touch, and it's nice to see the, the upgraded commander has so much more power on the tabletop by doing that. Right, uh, so that's an upgraded commander. Yes. Yep. We have another level of commander, which is your historical characters, if I remember right, yeah? Right, so historical characters are basically a step up. We also have legendary characters, which have, uh, which are kind of an additional step up, although they're pretty even, you know, and, and some of their abilities, it just depends from historical character to historical character. Yeah. So here we have, from the Spanish side, commanding the militia, we have um, Cristobal, not oh, wrong way, sir. Cristobal Arnaldo de Isasi. So he was famous for leading a resistance on Jamaica and also on some actions in Cuba later okay. on after, they, after he fled from Jamaica, after the English took it. Mm. So what he does is not only does he have a similar, similar stats command point wise to the other commander we saw over here, uh -huh. but he had some special rules as well. Okay. So, He's got Gorilla Commander, which Gorilla Commander lets any unit within his command distance gain the Skirmisher's special rule. Okay, and where is he to actually give this He's to? right here. So, if his command range, his command range is 12 inches, so we can see here that that's pretty much all these yeah. two units. So that's every unit right now... a big chunk of the tabletop. Yeah, so every unit right now 
is going to have that special rule that's uh -huh. under his command range. Also, for his own unit, any commander special rule on this card will be applied to the unit he's in. Right. So they're going to gain elusive, and they're going to gain scout. Lovely. So they're going to take cover better when they're fully in cover, and the scout special rule is going to let him ignore rough terrain penalties. All right, so uh, then we, on this side, we've got the English. They have Colonel Edward Morgan, who is the probably the uncle of, of the famous Henry Morgan, Captain Morgan. So, <laughs> now, is that our good friend, Captain Morgan, who everybody knows and loves? Yes, the, the, one, the one that everybody knows and loves. <laughs> That's right. So, he, has, he was famous for uh, leading a raid against the Dutch. And um, he, he fought in the civil wars in England. And, and so, he was very familiar with, uh, with combat. So, he was a very motivated commander. was able to get his men to, to overperform. But he wasn't quite ready for the rigors of uh, the Caribbean heat, being an older man at this point. So, unfortunately, one time while leading in battle, he was just overexerted himself and just dropped dead of a heat stroke or heart attack or really? something like that. Wow. So, so we've kind of reflected that. So he's got a rule called motivated. So when he spends a command point, he can fatigue himself to let that command point give the unit two actions instead of the normal one. Ooh. Now, the downside to that is... If he ever becomes, if his unit ever becomes shaken, the, he has to roll a, he has to roll die. And on a six plus, he drops dead. <laughs> so, so it's a, it's a risky maneuver, but it's being able to give a unit two command points is very powerful at the same time. Well, there, there's a question for you. Because mm -hmm. he's passing out two, does that let them go above that three or are we still locked at that three for him? Well, that, yeah. That, so when his unit is active, it's three. So an active unit can yeah. never take more than three actions. Yeah. So it's not necessarily per turn, it's per an activation sequence, right? Yeah. So, but when you act, a unit can never take more than one command point a turn is the general rule, uh -huh. but he allows you to break that rule. And so that lets you break beyond that, that three max, I'm guessing. Yes? No? Maybe? Not, not for his own unit, no. Ah, so, but if he's, if he's passing the command point out to another unit, right. does it become two? It becomes two, two command points yeah. for that unit, right. That Sorry, unit the, is not active, so he actually can put two on it. He's right. not going over, so even if the unit went, it can still get those two actions. Right. Exactly. So if it had went, and this was it taking its third, it's now getting two, but yeah. it's outside of the normal limit for what you're getting. Exactly. What trying so to say. It's, right. Yes. So you're right then. Sorry. Okay. Making Sorry. Sure we get it right. Sorry. This is one of those things that people <laughs> uh -huh. will come up with in the FAQ and you will be plagued about. So if we can get it nailed in this video, job done. There we go. So Perfect. Answer? Yes. Mm. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, well, so, let's run the sequence. So let's run the sequence. So, uh, so the Spanish have played a spade. A uh -huh. seven of spades, so they're going to activate. Okay. So now, first thing he's going to do is he's going to go ahead and give a command point to, to this unit right here to shoot at this unit. So they're 12. They're, they're definitely within 12 as we checked earlier. So we're going to check the range there, and we see that it is under eight, over four. Uh -huh. So they have a shoot scope of seven, and they're going to need an eight to hit. Okay. And they've got two, four, six, seven models. So let's roll that real fast. Okay. See if we can put some fatigue on those, on this unit of English freebooters here. All right. So they get one, two, three hits. Oof, ouch. So now, uh, what's the save? They save on a seven or higher. All right. I'll roll this. All right. So nice. they save two. Uh, yeah. So one of them drops. Yep. Uh, we will take this guy. Looks like he's running into the middle of nowhere, so we'll put him aside over here. <laughs> All right, so now you take two fatigue tests. Uh huh. So their fatigue regularly works on a what? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a five plus. Five plus. Okay. Uh, so you've one got a four. four to they one. take two. Wow. So they take two points of fatigue. So put that on in there, and that's exactly what we were hoping for. So now, yep. put our two reload markers on these guys here. Yep. So now, normally, um, th these guys are going to want to charge. So normally, this rough terrain would slow me down. Uh huh. So it's, it's just about, just over seven inches away, almost eight. Yeah. But since he has the scout special in his own unit, I'm going to be able to do that by using one command point on this unit, uh -huh. and then the one action the card gives me to go ahead and charge uh -huh. into combat. So we're taking advantage of several of the commander's rules here mm. to try to get this done. It's nice to have those little synergies working together with the commander's card to actually let you do nice extra stuff. Right. Because even from jumping up from the regular commander to this, you're getting nice bonus rules on units you wouldn't expect it on, and you're still getting to activate extra units around the battlefield and really sort of control that space. Yeah. That's something I'm seeing in this game. 
control and actual activation priorities are really, really important. And the longer so. command range, that helps out. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he's got a pistol on him that's loaded. So I'm yeah. going to roll that separate or the different color. Okay. Because if you use it, you you can use your pistols in melee combat. And when you do so, they let you re-roll misses. Oh, lovely. So we're going to go for that. All right. And that's a, that's a one. So now um, my, my fight skills of uh, six. Yep. I'm looking for fives because my Ruthless is triggered now, uh -huh. now that he's got more fatigue than I do. So, that is a whole lot of hits. Oh, and this one missed, actually, so I can re-roll it for another hit. <laughs> so now, Ouch. that unit of three guys has taken six wounds yeah. that they have to try to save, but that's double their number. So yeah, they so gone, dead, and buried. There. Yeah. So as you can see, all those commander abilities helped us to go in there. And yeah, wipe and a really unit just right power out. through a unit. Yep. And because you've actually done four in one turn, mm -hmm. that's a, a strike point towards your opponent. It, will, it depends on the number of... Right. It's well, not always four. Oh, right. So it's not always... Oh, if it was, if it was four, like in the last game, then yes. Okay. But, my, my bad. But four so. is a pretty common one at 100 points. So. Okay. Fair enough. So right. basically 25%. Right. So the, the okay. Spanish card is spent. Yes. So now Colonel Edward Morgan has to come in and try to save the day. Yes. So Can't he save the day? He can, I think. So... Before he goes on, now they, these guys used a spade to activate, so which these, means yes. that now because of what, another one of his commander rules, he gains the skirmishers special rule. <laughs> so he can actually move four back oh. after that charge. So they can jump so he in, can hit, strike and, and fade out. Oh. Right. So move four that seems back to where he's very powerful. How many points are you paying for this guy? He's twenty-five points. Okay, so he's a fair lump. Yep. So they drop back right there. So now they're not right in the line of fire of these. Yeah, of these they've got English a little cover here. going on there. Yeah, exactly. All right. So now, so now you've got Edward Morgan. Yep. On on a heart, who's yep. got two actions, and he's ready to go with two okay. command points at a twelve-inch command range. Yep. Only two units to give it to. Mm hmm So now one of the things you could do here is you can use his ability to give two actions to this unit. Yep. So that they're all in base contact, and the uh -huh. English militia here has the drilled special rule. So that they can now take a dedicated action to yeah. shoot, since they have two actions on a command point. Ah. So we can go ahead and try to try to shoot up one of these units here. Yeah. So you see, there's ranges. The range penalty is only one. Dedicated yeah. action is going to allow you to ignore that. So they're hitting on sevens instead of eights. Lovely. And how many shots? And that's two, four, six, seven shots. Okay. So let's. Uh, you got some dice over there. Yeah. All right. Two, so they're going to take their two four, reload markers. Six. One more. Yes. There you go. Okay. Uh, I think I'll roll the shooting for this one. Right. Let's see how my dice roll is holding up today. Uh, needing sevens, you said. So, so that's you've two. Got two. Right. And now he takes a point of fatigue, of course. Of for, course. For doing that. Oops. Let's see if I can do this without breaking everything. And then you'll right. have your so two I'll saves. So I have my two saves on these guys, yep. who normally save on eights, but because of the elusive that yet again he's giving them, uh -huh. they're going to save on a seven. Okay. So uh, one save, one dead. That's still two tasks to take. Right. So now they save on a six. I mean, pass on a six. So no. Yep. One fatigue. So one fatigue on them. Right. So. Uh, and then okay, Captain one. Morgan's unit himself still has to go as well. Right. So now he's got another special rule called expertly drilled. Uh -huh. So it's beyond just drilled. So whenever you take a dedicated shooting action, uh -huh. um, they, if you hit, get any hits on the unit, they've got to roll an additional die on the resolve test. Ah. So now that you guys got already a fatigue, we might, you might want to try to make him become shaken. Yeah. See if you can push him back there. Okay. Well, let's so, take the, the drilled shot then. All right. So you've got a penalty of one, which okay. goes down to seven, thanks to your drill rule. Uh huh. So you've got now uh, two, four, six, seven shots. And you can roll his pistol separate, which is not going to get that bonus. So okay. you're going to need a 10 on that one. And don't forget, he actually has another command point. So you command point yourself for an additional one. That's true. So you could even boost that further. Yeah. You go can for spend it. that command point on yourself. So now you're going to need sixes and a 10. Sixes and a ten. Right. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. It's not There's bad at all. three, four, five hits. Yep, that's five hits. Wow, so that's going to be... That's going to hurt. All right, so I'm going to need three dice there. Okay, uh, I'll move these over to you. Sure. Just so I'm not quite so dice greedy. All right, so I need a seven. Yes. Thanks to elusive. Which doesn't help me. <laughs> so, so four deaths? Four casualties, yeah. Ouch. <laughs> So four guys drop. Yeah. So there's only two models remaining. Uh huh. And right, important question: Is there any way to pick a commander out of a unit, or is he just always the last guy to go? He's always the last guy to go. Okay. 
for now. For now. Oh, for okay. now. We'll see. So that's going to be a lot of uh, strength, yep. uh, fatigue tests. That's going to be five, oh. and I'm looking for sixes. Remember, and it's going to be six because of expertly drilled. That's right. You're almost forgot about that. <laughs> we were just talking about it. <laughs> well, thankfully I passed that one. <laughs> but I still take still four. four fatigue, which brings them up to a whopping five fatigue. Wow. Now, that will automatically destroy this unit. Yeah. So, because he has double fatigue, anytime you have double fatigue to models, the unit's gone. They run. Yeah. However, I'm going to say we have some strike points here. And one thing we can do is if you have any for strike points, fortune points, uh -huh. <laughs> if we have any fortune points left, you can spend the fortune point to move the commander to any unit within eight inches. So he's just going to ah. run over here and hide with these guys. Okay. So that that's, fortune point is spent. That's going to be important to remember for yeah. your games. Because if you have paid the points for a 25-point commander, you're mm -hmm. going to want to keep them alive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So there you go. So they'll take their two reload markers. Uh, and that's, that's a good look at the commanders there. Yep. Yeah, this, this is really interesting to me to actually see how the dynamic of the game changes once you're adding in that higher level commander. Mm -hmm. The special character ones, yes, you're paying a lot for them. But if you know what you're up to with them, if you learn those special rules, they're going to be absolute monsters on the tabletop. Yep. Even having the regular upgraded commander, that extra flexibility of that extra command point, mm -hmm. really, really useful. Tell you what, guys, get your comments in below. What do you think? Are you going to use upgraded commanders? Or are you going to go for the bog standard captain straight off the boat? Hi everyone, we hope you're enjoying this themed week. Make sure you don't miss any of it by checking out the playlist and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to ding our dong so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, come across and join us on beastofwar.com for more great gaming content and a fantastic community. Also, keep your comments in for your chance to win.